this fair play 2333 and i want to give a salute to all my cinema cronies welcome back to the power book multiverse and cinema show where you get the latest in power universe and cinema breakdown i, I, I just want the life that in this can't afford we, we, we whipping them babies once you can't aboard not looking for beef but some you can't avoid and if i'm on a mission is you on the voyage Is Ghost James St. Patrick in the back of the Power Book 2 Ghost trailer? I don't know if y'all missed it or not. I can't say whether y'all did. I can't say whether y'all didn't. But what y'all need to know is that I believe that Ghost is in the back of that channel. Now, I did a video about um, Power showing it from two separate perspectives. Basically, uh, part one could be from Tyreek perspective. Part two could be from Ghost's perspective of watching everything that's going on with Tyreek, right? And it's no reason that that cannot happen. And then also I do a video where I say Tyreek graduates and gets, he inherits truth. So those two kind of tie in to the point of Ghost still being alive. It's a lot of things that I think could have happened. I just finished watching OG Power and what I noticed from watching OG Power is that the last five episodes is from uh, five different people perspective and all of their perspective is different based on their personality. So when you look at one perspective, Ghost has a puddle of blood under him and he got blood in his mouth. When you look at another perspective, he don't. Now, I think the next thing I have to try to figure out and come up with a theory and Mr. Stand on Theories, as y'all call me, um, I got to figure that out, which one is actually true, right? And I think that it's a little bit of truth in everybody's theory. So what I think they should actually do to wrap up the ghost series, I think they should go back to that night and put everybody theory together the part that they were telling the truth in i think it was certain parts of people theories that was exaggerated i think it like even when you look at tasha's uh theory i don't think tasha's theory was true because everything about tasha theory made her look like the victim I, and i think that's another thing we got to understand too not only was it from their perspective but it was from their personality type perspective. So, uh, see, episode 15 was about Tyreek and Tasha. And when you look at that episode, everything about them made ghosts look bad because they seen ghosts through the lens of a bad person. Um, on episode 15, OG Power, when Tommy walks into the house on Tasha, he put the gun to her throat. He put the gun to her head. From Tommy's perspective, when he walk into the house, he don't put the gun to her throat and he pull the gun up on her, but he only pulls it up on her once. And as he's looking at Lakeisha papers, he instantly starts to believe her. Now, why is this important? This is important because Tasha always makes herself out to be the victim. That has been a theme of her since Power Book Ghost. I mean, OG Power Season 1, Power Book 1, James St. Patrick, as I like to call it. Um, when we look at the first, very first episode uh, from her being in Truth, she leaves Truth, gets into the truck with Sean, and she get, starts to pleasure herself behind Sean. She made herself the victim from day one, when in my personal opinion, she's been the villain the entire time. Now, in OG Power episode 15 when we look at Tyreek perspective Tyreek walked into the house and Ghost was drunk so he was drunk he was belligerent he was yelling at him and stuff like that and Tyreek was playing it as if he was just submissive and never was saying anything back and sometimes in real life that be our kid perspective right we telling our kids what's right for them but our kid looking at us from a perspective of that we're the problem or we're too hard on them or we just don't understand when you look at that og power episode 15 you'll notice that tyreek sees james st patrick as a drunk um he's drinking in tyreek perspective but in James' perspective, he wasn't drunk at all. So the thing that we have to figure out is who has been the most honest in the power universe. And I think Tyreek has actually been one of the most honest people with himself and with everybody else. So 
was Tyreek perspective the correct perspective? Um, Tate, you have to remember, Tate was coming to Club Truth to warn James that it was two killers behind him. But was that really the true perspective we saw? Was that really what Tate was trying to do? Um, I think that was what Tate was trying to do. But the way that James was belittling him. And another thing we got to understand. In episode fifth, at the, at the last five episodes, what you notice is that James was treating everybody like they was beneath him. He was creating uh, enemies. And for me, that was a call back to when Vincent had kidnapped uh, Tyreek. And then he slammed Reek head against the bar and he basically told him listen kid you're smart but you're putting yourself in a bunch of trouble that your wit is not going to be able to get you out of and I felt like that was definitely even though he was talking to Tyreek in my opinion that was really a message meant for ghosts now one thing I want to address with y'all right now a lot of people been kind of telling me that I should put more video into my actual video like visual that y'all can watch um i would love to do that more but what i've been noticing is that when i do videos like that because some other creators put them up first they end up flagging them sometimes not all the time right so i think that when y'all think of my channel y'all should think of my channel as an audio experience you can be driving to work and you can listen to it like you'll listen to your murder mystery podcast or your favorite radio personality or just your favorite podcast or your favorite homie who you like to have these conversations with power about um that's what i want y'all to look at me now what i am gonna do is i'm gonna try to find more ways to incorporate videos into it but i know that would help me blow up fast and i know that would make my channel more interactive and funner for y'all but it's hard because i don't want my videos flagged like so let me give y'all a, a call back i did a ronnie video where i was putting all ronnie kills together i was gonna do a breakdown of everything that happened with ronnie but what ended up happening was that basically um probably like um 80 percent of the videos that i used in there they was flagged either by because they were uh copywritten by stars lion gate or they were copywritten by somebody else channel and so what that would have did is even though i would have had the commentary for it y'all would have only been able to see like one or two videos so it wouldn't have made as much sense to put that video up in the structure that i put it up so y'all gotta bear with me i know it's a lot of channels out here that's more entertaining from a visual standpoint because some channels all they do is just add a whole bunch of clips from power and they changed the voice on it and that worked for them well i haven't figured out how to make it work for me yet so i'm gonna keep doing um some research in that also that song at the beginning that's playing yes that is me fair play 2333 the song is streaming everywhere. It's called Voyage. It's featuring 290 Row and Gilly the Kid. And I just looked at my numbers and y'all have my streaming numbers through the roof on that song. And y'all also streaming some more of my songs. Now, um, if y'all if y'all would like for me to matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to give. I'm not going to stretch this video out. But at some point, I will give y'all, maybe when I get to 10,000 views, uh, I mean 10,000 subscribers, I'll give y'all a rundown about like how I got to this power page and everything like that and what I used to do in music and um, my movies and stuff like that. Check out the original Chicago Hood web series, No Time to Play Fair, Chicago Do's and Don'ts, episode two. It's out now. Written by, co-directed by, and starring me, Fairplay2333.